um, for any new beginning beekeepers, I would say the first thing is to make sure you're not allergic to bees because you don't want to get bees and then all of a sudden you get stung and then you end up in the hospital. Talk to your neighbors because if you're going to bring a beehive on your property, you want to make sure that your neighbors are also comfortable having bees around because bees will fly one to two miles away from their hive. So they will come in yeah. contact with other people as well as in their backyard. So you want to talk to your neighbors around you. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, you want to check the regulations on the city and county mm -hmm. because there are regulations such as uh, you, can't, you can't have a beehive 25 feet in, inside 25 feet from your neighbor's property line, so it has to be 25 feet away. If not, you have to actually build a six foot high fence around your oh, beehive. Wow. Yeah, so that could be a big investment. Um, number three, so if you meet those two requirements, take a class or meet with a beekeeper and work with a beekeeper. That is probably um, the second most important thing besides, you know, make sure you're not allergic because bees. Having bees is like taking care of a pet. It's actually having oh. a pet in your backyard because mm -hmm. you're going to have to take care of it. There are lots of new diseases that has come mm -hmm. in beekeeping and our bees are dying every year. Um, you'll lose, beekeepers will lose close to 30-40% of their hives. Oh. So you want to take a class from either beekeeper or from some school that can teach you how to care for it because it is a, a big commitment like having a pet mm -hmm. or, a, or a new child. Um, after you take a class, then you can invest in equipment. Um, a lot of times you can find some second-hand equipment off like Craigslist or off the web, but we, all, we always recommend you, if you are investing in this, to buy equipment off a, a beekeeping website. Mm -hmm. And roughly a, a starting kit will cost between two to $300, and it'll come included uh, the boxes, the, um, the beekeeping suits, a smoker, mm -hmm. so all the things you need to get started in beekeeping. Okay. And number five would be to get bees. Um, once you get your equipment, uh, getting bees can be really difficult because there is such a shortage of bees. So we mm -hmm. always ask people who do want to get bees, talk to your beekeeper because uh, they may have some extra that they're able to sell to you. Mm -hmm. The other option is to get on a waiting list when swarms come around. Mm -hmm. And it's swarming season starts between April and I, I guess October. From April to October, our bees will swarm mm -hmm. and you can actually catch some of those and that, that's how you can get started with bees. Keeping, you know, to watch out for is how your bees are actually interacting with you. So some people do not like to keep what we call defensive bees. Bees are not aggressively seeking out to attack you. They want to defend what they have. So you want to keep in mind how they are reacting to you because they also impact your neighbors, also impact other people that's living with your bees. Mm -hmm. So if your bees get do, can get defensive, a lot of times beekeepers would requeen their hives. So essentially you make your hives calmer so you can work with them. Now other things uh, you want to keep in mind is besides uh, noting their behavior as, and as health, you also want to look at how their honey is coming in mm -hmm. and how the other products from the hive, how the bees are building up, all these things that you can harvest from. Okay. Yeah, so just planting, um, you know, some trees in your backyard isn't enough. You know, bees are going to need thousands and thousands and thousands of flowers Ooh. in order for them one to... One hive. Yeah, one hive. Wow. So, so that's why it's really good in Hawaii because we have nice weather year-round, so we have year-round flower production. And that's why our, our bees can make honey year round. Yeah, so if you were to go to your local grocery store and you look at local honey from Hawaii, a lot of it you would say macadamia honey or ohia lehua honey. And it's because those bees are specifically, or majority of the bees in the hive are going to a specific flower. And that nectar will, will you know, make a certain type of tasting honey. Oh, neat. Yeah, so, for example, one of the most expensive honeys from Hawaii is from the kiawe tree. So if you ever see rare Hawaiian kiawe honey, it's, it's specifically from the kiawe forest, like on your big island or mm -hmm. on your drier areas mm -hmm. in, in the state. UH um, will have uh, some beekeeping trainings in the summer as well as starting in the fall. So where mm -hmm. the public um, can take classes. Okay. Yeah, through our outreach college. So okay. it's, it's our going to be UH Manoa's first uh, beekeeping classes. You can also check out our website. I think it's uhbproject.com. Okay. And then they can, when we make an announcement, uh, people can call in. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you.